I want to say to those millionaires considering leaving, toodle pip, because we have quite a few millionaires and billionaires. So I reckon we'll be okay. The UK has the world's third highest number of millionaires. Hmm. And and then I went on to read this Forbes article. They expect that some 500,000 millionaires will leave the UK by 2028. The article goes on to say how actually their absence isn't likely to be as heavily felt as they would like it to be. Should I tell you one millionaire who wants to go? And I wish he'd hurry up because he's been telling us for ages and he's been oh, telling anyone that will bloody listen. Is he listen. still here? Is he still he's here? Still oh. here. In fact, <laughs> and Charlie Mullins, if you don't know, think Rod Stewart gone wrong, basically. And he owns Pimlico <laughs> Team you, a Team you, Rod Stewart. He's absolutely furious at the thought of potentially, even though we don't know yet, paying a little bit more tax. So say he has paid 120 million quid in taxes, which he probably has, and he's paying at 50%. Well, then you've still got 120 million quid. Like, you're absolutely fine. But also, you, you won't have paid 50%. You just won't have. When they looked at Sunax, how much he'd paid, it actually came down to the same tax rate as a nurse because of all the loopholes. Click here for Elon's rage against the machine.